All right, uh, we're going to talk about the basically the merger of uh, cost of equity uh, and uh, cost of debt, and it is a process. And you've probably read a little bit about this already. It's uh, something called weighted average cost of capital, which, as you might imagine, people in finance refer to as WAC, um, and it it's the distillation of these two processes uh, plus a little better understanding of uh, long-term debt and uh, the market capitalization of a, of a stock. This is an example uh, using this so you can understand a bigger picture of how companies make decisions about spending money, uh, how individuals make decisions about investing in stocks, and it's critical I think as you expand your thinking from an entrepreneurial perspective um, about how business decisions are arrived at and what tools people use to make risk anal to work on risk analysis. <clears throat> this is probably going to be one or two short little videos and just to give you some sense of the process here. And this is very much a, a, a finance calculation um, and it comes down to the two principal pieces are cost of debt and cost of equity. Uh, and cap M is called its capital marketization. So you can understand what uh, what some of these initials mean. Um, cost of debt really revolves around two things, the estimated average debt rate that a company or business is paying. Uh, and that can usually be arrived at by understanding the uh, cost that a company is paying to borrow money, either borrowing money from a bank or uh, with bond issues, where it issues it owns its own bonds to raise dollars for the business. So just in this example, we're looking at an average debt rate of 9.9%. The effective tax rate is, uh, we're making reference to federal tax only here. Uh, this is a, an estimate of what the company would pay uh, in taxes if it had a profitable year. So we're just, just plugging these in for analysis sake. So the cost of debt after tax is then arrived at in, uh, in the equation here, which is pretty simple. It's uh, F4 times uh, 1 minus the tax rate, which gives us an answer of 6.2%. So that's a quick breakdown of cost of debt. Now we're going to talk about cost of equity. Uh, First thing, you th when you think about cost of equity, think about investing your dollars. So if you were going to invest money and you wanted to invest money risk-free, uh, you would look at something that has a guaranteed payment. And the most popular risk-free investment in, literally in the world uh, are U.S. federal treasury bonds. And this uh Excel piece was put together about a year and a half ago. At that time, the rate on a 10-year T-bond, uh, T-bill, sorry, uh, was 2.6%. Uh, so that's your risk-free rate. There's no risk. You're going to earn that money, and that's that's where you see the the, the our performance number. Uh, beta is. Uh, really trying to understand a uh, comparative measure of how a stock performs relative to the market as a, as a whole. Uh, I've put a link on the, on the uh, instructional piece for this section of the course uh, so you can learn a lot more about it. If you're uh, an amateur investor or a professional investor, you may know a great deal about this already, and I'm not going to dive into it deeply for this discussion here. But we're going to come back on the next video to looking at uh, cost of equity and then on the final video so it's going to be in three of these things uh, we're going to we're going to break down this analysis here that gets us to weighted average cost of capital all right here we go